Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today I'm raising and building Lila. So yeah, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna level her up to level 80. Gonna speed this up, so see you in a minute. Okay, and here she is, level 80 Lila. So let's go over the build real quick. I gave her the Harbinger of Dawn for some crit rate and crit damage. Um, yeah, since there isn't really a HP weapon to give her besides the key of Kajni suit, but that's on my Shinobu and I don't intend to take it away from my Shinobu. Then artifacts, I went for four piece tenacity, but they're not all level 20 yet. Actually, none of them are, as you can see. Um, yeah, I didn't have enough artifact experience to get him to level 20 yet, but 16 is fine for now. Um, yeah, also went for HP here and some crit. Flower is the lowest level, but attack is not that important for her anyway. And then I went for HP percentage on the sands, the cup, and the circlet. Just to make her shield as strong as possible. And the talents, 587. Her shield is obviously the most important, followed by her burst, and then her normal attacks you don't really need to level, but I just like to level all my characters' talents. Um, yeah, it's just something I like to do. So, what does she look like now? 30k HP with 48% crit rate and 135% crit damage. Pretty nice. Also, 134% energy recharge. Maybe a bit on the lower side, but her. Burst only costs 40 energy, I think, if I remember correctly, so should be fine. Doesn't get much energy, at the end. obviously no elemental bonus. Okay, so far so good. Now, let's see how strong the shield actually is. And as always, my test subject is gonna be Masanori here on Tatarasuna in Inazuma. And uh, yeah, to see how good her shield actually is, um, we need to compare to another shield, I think. And uh, most people I've seen actually compare to Zhongli, since apparently her shield is really good. But uh, let's be real here, she won't be as good as Zhongli. Um, I think that much is obvious because he's just that overpowered. Um, so I don't think that's a fair comparison. It's probably better to compare her to other 4-star shielders. Uh, yeah, mostly Diona, since she's also Cryo and probably the most used Forster Shielder. Um, but yeah, my Diona isn't built, so the character that I am gonna compare her to is Yenfei, because Yenfei is actually pretty much the only Shielder I use. Um, yeah, I've built my Yenfei as a dedicated Shielder with just a lot of HP and energy recharge. If you don't know, it's actually Yenfei's Constellation 4 that enables her to be a Shielder. Um, actually gets 45% of her max HP as a shield, which is pretty good actually. Um, but only for 15 seconds and her burst, which creates the shield, um, has a 20 second cooldown. So there's a 5 second downtime. But from my experience that uh, downtime is actually not that bad because uh, you just use that to um, use the skills and bursts for the rotation before you then put up the shield again. But yeah, it's not about Yenfei, it's about Layla, but... Again, to compare it, I think we gotta do it with Yanfei first and see how much she can take from Asanori. If I remember correctly, my um, Yanfei shield is about 14k HP. So yeah, let's see. Oh, first we need to charge her burst. Whoops, I should have done that beforehand. But here we go. Okay, attack. Yeah, she takes his normal attacks pretty well. And then he blocks. Stop blocking! There we go. Bam, okay, and that destroyed the shield. 
Okay, some of the normal attacks, and then that spin attack, and then it got destroyed. Now, how about Lila? Oh, that's a big attack. Can the sheet survive it? It did survive the big attack. Bad. Oh, big spin attack? Okay, it didn't survive that. But that is a very strong attack. It's a lot of damage. Let's see if we can get Yenfei's burst back up so we can compare a bit more. Take some strong attacks on Yenfei's shield too. Just to see if she can take them. Let's see. Okay, spin attack. Can Yenfei's shield survive that? It did survive the spin attack. Lila's shield couldn't do that, right? Let's see. Come on, do another spin. Yeah, he's doing another spin. Here we go. Oh, but that was a normal spin, not a strong spin, but the shield broke anyway. Okay, so Lila's shield is definitely weaker than Yenfei's, but it still can take a hit. Well, there's actually one thing I could do to make her shield stronger, and that is rolling for C1, <laughs> which I don't think I'm gonna do, but actually, you know, why not? Just just a few single pulls, since I think I'm pretty close to 4-star pity. So, yeah. Just, just until we get one 4-star. Maybe we get lucky and get her C1. That's not a 4-star. Next one. Still not a 4-star. Hmm, I thought I was close to 4-star pity, but maybe not. Oh, there we go. Come on. And it's just a Sacrificial Greatsword. Nice. Don't need that. Oh well, <laughs> would have been nice, but it wasn't meant to be. Maybe on another banner. But now another thing that I want to see is how much damage a burst actually does, so yeah, let's find that out real quick. Yes, we shall spar. Okay, so her skill doesn't create any particles, probably only when the stars hit. Let's see. Yeah, now we're getting particles, but only one. That's like almost nothing. Okay. Okay, there we go. Burst time. How much is it doing? 930, that's not a lot. Okay, those oh, aren't crits. There we got a crit. 5000 on a crit. That's actually not bad. Stop blocking, stop blocking. Man, what the fuck? Couldn't see most of the damage because we were just blocking, you idiot. Oh well. Let's just recharge the burst and try again. I do like Lila's normal attacks, gotta say. They look pretty cool. I mean, they do basically no damage, but... Pretty. <laughs> okay, let's try again. And I actually... Have a full team this time with a cryo character for some cryo resonance. So we get more crits. Okay, let's see. And immediately not a crit. Okay, 2,000 on a crit. 2,000 again. Why are you blocking again? Stop! Okay, there we go. 2,000. Yeah, it's pretty consistently 2,100 on the crits. But I got a 5,000 before. What was that? How did I get that? I don't know. I think that might have been a melt because I used uh, Yanfei. Yeah, that 5,000 must have been a melt. Okay, so her damage is not that great, but that was to be expected. She's really just here for the shield. Um, but even then, Yanfei's shield is still better. Uh, yeah, Yanfei in general is better, feels better, um, even though she has 5 second downtime on her shield. But Lila is definitely a nice alternative if I need a shielders in both teams in Abyss, for example. Or, you know, in a team where Yanfei doesn't fit that well, like for example a Eula team, where you don't really need pyro characters. But there's still one last challenge I want to try here. Um, yeah, I've read a comment about it uh, somewhere on the internet. I don't remember if it was on YouTube or Reddit or whatever. Um, but apparently, this guy here shoots a laser. I've never been here before, actually. And uh, this laser is pretty strong. And this guy, this comment said that... Oh, cutscene? Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, this comment said that um, if your shield can survive the laser, then it's basically a good shield. So... We're gonna test that after we've talked to this guy. At least that's how you know that I've actually never been here before. I wasn't lying. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to go through this conversation now with this random NPC. Okay, finally done. 
Let's go and see if we can survive the laser. Okay, he's shooting. How much damage does it do normally? Ow. Okay, it's actually not as much damage as I was expecting. Yeah, it's like about 5,000. Okay, my shield can definitely take this. Both shields should be able to. So yeah, let's try Yenfei. Yeah, no problem. Can she take another one? Pretty sure she can. Yeah, her shield is like 14k and the laser only does like 5k. Yeah, it took th three shots to break the shield. How many can Lila survive? That's the question. Okay, one. Can she survive a second one? If she can, then I consider the shield good. Ah, uh, not quite. Not quite. Almost, though. Still a decent shield. Definitely not as good as Yanfei's, but it's okay, I guess. So, yeah. Again, comparing her with Chongli would not have been fair, because Chongli definitely can take three shots of this. Maybe even four. Okay, yeah, so much about that. Um, yeah, she seems to be a pretty okay shielder. Um, again, my Lila is at C0, and her C1 gives her, like, some extra shield strength, and then also, if I would level her to 90, level her artifacts up, get a, a shield talent to level 9, um, all of that together could probably make it so her shield actually rivals my Yen face shield. My Yen face is just better built at this point, so her shield being worse in the showcase doesn't really mean that it's worse in general, you know. Maybe it could even be better than Yen face shield if I, you know, leveled her up some more. But yeah, for level 80 with level 8 talents, Forster character, I think it's actually a good shield. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the showcase. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And have a nice day.